the drills, uh, I try and keep the drills very simple. And I think the importance of drill work is that the swimmers must understand and know why they're doing the drills. And the other important factor with the drills is trying to have the swimmer in their own mind understand that they're doing the drill so they can apply it back to the stroke. So when we do do drills in training, we do a lot of transitional stuff where we'll go drill to swim. We just won't go drill, 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 drill. It'll be 25 metres of stroke drill, 25 metres of swim. So we're trying to relate the stroke deficiency we've got. We're trying to highlight that through drills and then we're trying to link the drill into the swimming action. I like to keep the drills that we do relatively short distance, so maybe 25, 50 metres at the most. Concentration has got to be at 100%. And the drills that we do are a combination of slow drills and we also do some fast drills or some speed drills as well. What we're trying to emphasise on the slow drills is an area or an aspect of the stroke that the swimmer is having trouble with. And we're trying to isolate into single arm or double arm drill where we're trying to fix the problem that that swimmer may have. Some of the specific drills that we do, working through butterfly, we go the single arm progression, where this is really a timing drill. What we're working on is ensuring that the swimmer is taking two kicks with each arm stroke. So it's a kick on entry, and then a kick on exit at the end of the stroke. And the progression that we use, we use the arm that's not being used out in front, so the swimmer can balance on the arm that's not being used as they're working through the pulling action of the stroke. And once the swimmer has mastered that single arm drill with the non-using arm drill out in front, we progress through to putting the arm that's not being used down by the side. And I believe that what happens doing this drill is that the swimmer is able to feel and hold water even better. So they're able to balance on the stroke that's out in front a lot more. So the single arm progression is we go left arm on the way up and we'll come back right arm on the way back ensuring from a coaching perspective that the swimmers are taking two kicks with every arm cycle that's being done. We'll do the same with the single arm with the arm down by the side making sure once again that the swimmers are kicking on entry and kicking as the hand is pulling through the back end of the stroke and once again you can do this at slow speeds and you can do it at fast speeds as the, as the load or as the swimmer is doing their drill at a faster speed the load through the stroke is increased so what we're looking for at fast speeds is good hand acceleration so it's important to have good hand acceleration but not compromising distance per stroke to get that so at all times, even though you're working faster through the speed element of this drill, you're still not compromising the fact that you want them being able to achieve and get good distance per stroke with every stroke that they take. The next progression we do on fly is we might work through a series of 1-1-1, one, 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 where we're going one stroke left arm, one stroke right arm, one full arm cycle of the stroke. The next sequence might be two, 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 two left, two right, two full, up to three, 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 and then four, four, four. And once again, I see this as a timing drill where you're getting them to link the single arm component with the double arm component, which is what Butterfly naturally is. And I found this uh, a very, very good drill to do if I've got swimmers whose timing has gone out in Butterfly. For the final butterfly drill that we've got listed today there is the dolphin drill and uh, if you've got a swimmer that's having trouble with their hand speed through the stroke if they're not getting good hand acceleration I think with the dolphin drill that we do what we're really working on is the underwater pulling component of the stroke so we're throwing the recovery part out not worried about the recovery part all we're doing is working on the underwater pulling aspect of the stroke so what I like them doing on this drill is sitting in base position, taking four kicks with the hands out in front, establishing a good catch, and then connecting with water, 
accelerating through the stroke with a nice high elbow position through the catch and accelerating through the stroke, recovering the hands underneath the water and then working that over and over again but really focusing in on the acceleration of the hands through the stroke.